So I'm always surprised when I'm talking to women about courage is my strength and about what I'm going through, how many women tell me that they do not do self-breast exams. Self-breast exams are so important because early detection is the almost the only way to save your life from breast cancer. Some women tell me that they don't do it because they don't know how. Some people tell me that they don't do it because they feel things in there that they're not quite sure what they are and it just terrifies them, so they rely on their doctor to do it once a year, which is not enough, ladies. And then, you know, there's just a variety of reasons why people aren't doing their self-exams. So I thought I would take a few moments to show you how to do a proper breast exam and tell you about some of the things that you may be feeling in there in order to help some of you get your breast exams done. The best time to do your breast exam is right after your period. This is when you have the least amount of swelling in your breasts and when you're going to be able to feel the most deep tissue in there rather than swelling or fluid. So take a look and do your breast exams every month. Okay, so let's get started. In the privacy of your bathroom, strip to the waist and stand before a mirror. You will need to be able to see both breasts at the same time and stand with your hands on your hips and check the appearance of your breasts. You want to look at the size, the shape, and the contour. Press your hands firmly down on your hips. This helps you notice any changes in shape, contour, dimpling, or redness. You want to make sure to look at your nipples and areolas and see how healthy they look. Standing in front of your mirror, raise your arms over your head and see if your breasts move in the same way and note any differences. Look at the size, shape, and drape, checking for symmetry. Pay attention to your nipples and areolas to see if you have any dimples, bumps, or retraction, which is an indentation. Look up towards your armpits and see if there is any swelling where your lymph nodes are, which is in your lower armpit area. Examine each underarm while sitting up or standing and with your arms only slightly raised so you can feel inside this area. Raising your arms straight up tightens the tissue and makes it harder to examine. The next part of your breast exam should be done in the shower. Using water and soap helps relieve friction between your finger pads and skin, making it easier to feel deep inside your tissue. We're going to make sure to check the entire breast, starting from our clavicle or our collarbone and going all the way down to where we feel only ribs. We want to move around the breast in an up and down pattern, starting at an imaginary line drawn straight down from your side of the underarm and moving across to the middle of the chest bone. You want to use the pads of your fingers to feel for lumps in the breast. Use overlapping dime-sized circular motions of the finger pads to feel the tissue. While you're doing this, you want to use three different levels of pressure to feel all of the breast tissue. Light pressure is needed to feel the tissue closest to the skin. Medium pressure feels a little bit deeper and then the firm pressure feels the tissue closest to the chest and ribs. It is normal to feel a firm ridge in the lower curve of each breast, but you should ask your doctor if you feel anything else out of the ordinary. The last stage of the breast exam should be done in your bedroom where you can lay down. Place a pillow on the bed so that you can lie with both your head and your shoulders on the pillow. Lie down and put your left hand behind your head. Use your right hand to stroke the breast and underarm and take note of any changes in texture, color, or size. This part of the exam is done while lying down because when you lie down, the breast tissue spreads evenly over the chest wall and it's as thin as possible, so it's easier to feel all of the breast tissue. During your breast exam, you may feel nodules or glands. Some of these are completely normal. If it feels the same way that it did during your last doctor's visit, you are probably okay. A great idea is to talk to your doctor during your annual exam and make sure that you know what you're feeling. Use that as a baseline for your future self-exams. Even though a breast exam can be frightening and intimidating, you've got to do it every month. Promise me you will do your breast exams every month. Bookmark this video so you can remember how to do it. If you do it this month and you're familiar with how your breast feels and you notice a change next month, you need to go to the doctor. Don't put this off. Do it every month. You never know. You might save your life. Take care.